Today on Anderson. Why men cheat. Some controversial advice from the other women. As a legal prostitute, what I'm saying is going to save your marriage. You get paid for sex. I get paid for my time. I find that hard to believe. It all starts now. So today's show is really interesting. Have a seat, everyone, please. Thank you. Today's show is really interesting. It's really about how well we know the people in our lives, how well you know your spouse or, or your partner. Ashton Kutcher, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Tiger Woods, all made headlines rumored for cheating on their spouses. They, however, are certainly not alone. Cheating statistics are nearly impossible to come by, but many experts say between 40 and 60% of men will cheat on their wives at some point. There are many theories about why men cheat, but a recent blog on the Huffington Post sparked a furor when the author claimed it's wives who sometimes drive their husbands to cheat by starving their marriages, not just of sex, but also intimacy. Most shocking, the blogger claiming to know all this is a woman named Bethany St. James. Her profession? She's a Nevada prostitute. Hey, we're back talking about really one of the most talked about issues in America, from blogs to magazines, newspapers. Uh, everyone always asks, why do men cheat? Um, we're trying to figure that out. Uh, the, the idea uh, that Bethany St. James has, uh, has put forward, she's a legal prostitute who works in Nevada, is that a lot of men uh, come to her uh, for intimacy, and, and not just men, but, but also couples. George Collins is also joining us. George, stand up. You counsel people on sexual addiction. You counsel people who are having problems in their marriage. Right. You used to go to prostitutes. I did. When was yeah. the last time you went to a prostitute? Uh, 27 years ago. 27 years ago. Yes, sir. Do you agree with Bethany about why people go? I agree they go because it's there and because they're con we're conditioned as kids in uh, high school to sit around and talk about body parts rather than intimacy. My wife and I counsel uh, people all the time from all over the country uh, on how to be intimate. And men come and talk about how horrible it is and uh, that their wife doesn't want to have sex. And when we get done, uh, they find that the sex is augmented by this deep, connected intimacy. How did you feel when you would leave a prostitute? Uh, cry. You would cry? Yes. Why? Because I'm a sensitive man. Most of the men that come to me, once we get done with them, become sensitized and really understand what it means to be connected physically, emotionally, and spiritually with a woman. But do men always want sex with intimacy? They don't think they want it, but they truly want it. I've been uh, it's not an easy thing to talk about, and I appreciate all your perspectives. Plus, to read Bethany St. James, a blog post. We're going to have a link on our website for that because we want to get uh, her perspective and her message out to you as well. I want to hear what you think about today's show. Talk to us. Follow the show on Twitter, at Anderson. Follow me personally, at Anderson Cooper. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.